Hello, hello, people. This is John Dow, the Boston Architect, one half of the Architects of Aesthetics, Building a Better You. This is the Managing Your Macros podcast, a podcast for health and nutrition newbies. If you want to get in touch with me, you got questions and comments, you can tweet AOABBU. Also find us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, The Architects of Aesthetics, or visit the website itself, architectsofaesthetics.com. The intent of this podcast is not to be fully comprehensive, but a quick and easy introduction on how you can better manage your diet. This starts with taking care of your macros. In the last episode, we talked about how the total number of calories themselves don't always pan out to give people the results that they want. And this is because people aren't aware of the macronutrient makeup. Got a listener comment from Sam. He mentioned, uh, this stuff is both confusing and anxiety producing. It wouldn't hurt to focus on each nutrient and simplify what they are in their importance. Very good point, Sam. Um, This is something that I realized myself after publishing the last episode. I followed up with some notes I think I'm going to continue that trend of adding show notes after each episode. That'll give me a chance to add anything that I might have forgotten when I recorded. Um, So I did just that with the last episode. People, macronutrients, macros for short. This is talking about the fats, proteins, and carbs. You need all these things. So any kind of no-fat diet, no-carb diet, uh, in the very rare case, no-protein diet, you're not going to function very well because your body needs all of them. Very simply put, fats help with insulation, assisting the proteins and joint issues. Carbs are going to give you energy, and proteins, they assist in muscle maintenance and recovery. Proteins are also the macros that help you with feeling full. Taking note of all this, why should you use macros? By taking control of macros, it's not only going to help you transform your body in the way that you're imagining in your mind, It's also going to give you a chance to have more flexible dieting. Macros is the pathway to have your cake and eat it too. Too often when you read about it, you see stuff on TV, people are so quick to demonize certain foods. And yeah, we know certain options aren't that healthy, but there is a way to fit it into your life, especially if you love it. So let's take, for example, you love cookies. Guess what? There is a way to have cookies every single day. That's not with a pill or any kind of drug or anything like that. It's just being aware of your overall calorie intake. Some people like to say piecing it together like a puzzle. I like to refer to it like balancing a checkbook. Think of your salary that you get from work. There's certain bills that you got to cover, and the rest of it, you get to kind of spend it as you'd like. Let's take, for example, when you get paid from your job. Unemployed people, I'm sorry. (laughs) You can't follow along. When you get paid, there's certain bills that you got to cover, right? You have to. I mean, if you don't, there's consequences that you got to deal with, right? But then with the excess, whatever remainder that might be, you get to choose how you want to spend it. Video games, movies, dates, a puppy, puppies, flowers, a car. I know that's a crazy range of expenses right there, but I hope you get the picture with that. So if we use this model, I would like to link proteins as your bills. Try to make sure you're hitting that quote unquote payment. Fats and carbs are gonna have different ranges, but that's just where you wanna kinda reel it in. Don't go crazy, you have room to spare there, but just fats and carbs are kinda like your play money. Now, the big problem with macros or any kind of calorie counting It's very easy to get overwhelmed. This can happen just because numbers in themselves are intimidating. But I usually see the panic and frustration because people are trying to take care of every point at once. Don't do that. The very first step of trying to be aware of what you're consuming is a huge step. So once you get that out of the way, I would suggest picking one. Uh, Last episode, I talked about like this. File down your fats. Contain your carbs. Push up your proteins. Pick one of those pathways. Okay, I'm going to just try to watch my fats for a couple weeks. Or, okay, I'm going to try not to eat a crazy amount of carbs for a couple weeks. Or, okay, I'm going to try to make sure I get more protein in my body for a couple of weeks. And I say a couple of weeks each time right there because even if you hit an ideal number of macros, whatever that means to his or her own body, 
you're not going to see results immediately, okay? You got to treat it like a habit. Whatever you do to take care of yourself today, if you keep up with it consistently over a period of time, it's going to pay dividends later. It's like that old school parent talk. You'll thank me later. Hopefully you have good parents. So this comparison works. Otherwise, F that mom and dad, right? So for today's specific macros talk, I got a tweet from my friend Phil Morha. He says, ha ha. <laughs> I tried tracking macros a while back. It's just hard as hell to do it over here, here being Japan. And I wanna say BS for a couple reasons. First of all, Phil, if you're saying that because it's hard to find the nutritional information on a Japanese package, don't give up so quickly, man. I know that they don't always put it in a neat little square, but the information's on there. To reiterate, picking one thing at a time, get the kanji for carbohydrates. Had to, had to double check it real quick. It's tansui kabutsu. Tansui kabutsu. Start keeping track of that. If you're feeling that tracking macros is really difficult because of because of uh, the meals that they prepare for you or eating over and nomikais and that kind of thing. Let's break down two of the primary carbs in Asia, right? So what I got here is a bag of jasmine rice. So the serving size of three-fourths cup of jasmine rice here, the macros, zero grams of fat, 35 grams of carbs, three grams of protein. What you should be taking away is Rice is a significant carb source, very low protein source, zero fat. You don't have to worry about the fat here. Let's take noodles, for example. I have a package of Vietnamese rice vermicelli. Serving size is one cup. The macros being zero grams of fat, 40 grams of carbs, and two grams of protein. Same situation, minimal protein, Fat so you don't have to worry about higher carb source. Now, with rice and noodles, very rarely you're going to stick to one serving size. I think for most people, a couple bowls of rice, a big bowl of noodles, going to look closer at 50, 65 grams of carbs. This is no problem. Once you get one key figure, track it throughout the day. and Make sure you don't overstack. Again, let's put this into context. For me, my macros limit of carbs is around 200 grams. So if I eat a bowl of rice in the morning, a bowl of rice for lunch, a bowl of rice for dinner, and let's say that I got a decent sized bowl each time, 65 times three, 195 grams of carbs. Now keep in mind, I'm not gonna be just eating rice right? You don't play around with that budget. So if I know that I want bread in the evening, let's say I have some bread with dinner. Let's imagine that I want some dessert, some sort of pastry. Even if I don't know the exact macros for that bread or that pastry, I know that I should cut back. If I know I'm going to have those things in advance, then I can cut back my portion size of rice earlier in the day. Again, don't try to stress yourself out by being a perfectionist with all this stuff. A little bit at a time minor adjustments. I definitely have a lot, lot, lot more to say, but I do want to keep these episodes short, quick and easy sound bites that you can digest. You can replay them again, something that you need to be sitting on and thinking for a little bit anyway. Plus, I'm curious as to what Phil has to say in response. So again, be sure to check out the show notes that I'm going to include with this episode. If there's any confusion over what I said, if you have other questions, other comments, do let me know. You can email me at aoabbu at gmail.com. Thanks again for your time and listening. Rock on.